here is my uh, creation. It claps a little bit, unfortunately, but it is beautiful. Look at the size of that bad boy. Oh, yeah, what a lovely Yorkie. Tonight, we're making Yorkshire puddings. As I said, guys, we're making Yorkshire puddings. I've made a whole roast and everything like that. I didn't figure I need to make another one. Pretty basic recipes, but I'm gonna make some Yorkshire puddings to go with it. I think it sounds like a damn fine idea. So if you don't know what we do, guys, we go online, find yourself a recipe, go to the store, pick stuff up, and come home and make it. You don't really have to do much of that today because I had pretty much everything before this, but that's okay. Um, this is the an award-winning Yorkshire pudding recipe, courtesy of YorkshirePud.co. So I guess they should know what they're doing. They say they're award winning, so we'll give her a whirl. So it says first off to sift our flour and our something. So that's what we're going to do. Get a sift, sift here, and a sift, sift there, sift, sift everywhere, where, where. Alright. So we got that in there. Then after that, it says, okay, we got to add our meat next. Alright guys, so we're going to give our eggs beaten. Kick the crap out of the little buggers. So yeah guys, if you don't know exactly what we're doing here as well, we're also looking to set a world record for most consecutive days cooking a different dish from the internet without ever repeating. We're on day 20 right now for that. We're also on like day 81 of my 365 day cooking challenge, but that's beside the point. So, got our eggs beaten up. Now it says to add them to our flour. This is an eggy dish guys, a little Yorkshire puddings. And uh, also half our milk is supposed to go in there as well. And it says to mix that together until it resembles somewhat wallpaper based. So that's what we're going to do. It's supposed to be smooth wallpaper based though. Alright, my arms worked. And I think I finally got the lumps out of it. So now we're going to add the rest of the milk to it. Somewhat wallpaper based. I didn't try sticking any paper to the wall, but we'll go with it. So we'll add the rest of the milk to her. Give that a whisk up. They're all mixed together. And then, we're going to stick that bad boy in the fridge for 10 minutes and heat her oven up. Alright guys, welcome back. Got her uh, batter out of the uh, fridge. It's been about 10 minutes, so it's good. So, we'll pull out our pan. Oh, she's smoking hot. So let's put some batter in each one. Just about half full to three quarters, so they are good size Yorkies here. They're gonna work out real nice. There, lots of batter here, guys. So yeah, I put the pan in a little while ago, heat the oil up so it's smoking hot, had it about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty hot oven, that's for sure. That's how Yorkies are, though. They run in a hot oven. Seem to make way too much batter here, though, guys. I only wanted six Yorkies, so. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I did. I decided that perhaps I would. Alright, super size one. A big ass Yorkie. Let's see how it works out. We're going to put the rest of the batter in as much as we can anyway. Look at this thing and see how that works out. I think it's going to be kind of neat. I want to see how big this thing gets. I'm kind of excited. I'm a little excited about this. Let's find out. Chuck her in. And they're going to go in there for a half hour at 425, so we have to lower the temperature. Alright. We'll be back in a half hour when those bad boys are ready to go, guys. I'm kind of excited. Hey, welcome back guys. Here is my uh, creation. It claps a little bit unfortunately, but it is beautiful. Look at the size of that bad boy. Oh yeah, what a lovely Yorkie. And my other six. Give one of a taste here, see what we think of them. I damn up. I just thought that would be a award winning Yorkie. Well, the thing about filling this bad boy with beef and gravy guys and carrots and potatoes. Ooh, that'll be delicious. Anyway, guys, this is my Kirkland John. Bye for now. Oh, I forgot the date and time. You bring it up. Good point. Good point. Date is the 22nd, Sunday. This is day 20 for the world record. Needed that for uh, proof that we were doing it in succession. Losing my mind here. Anyway, I'm looking forward to enjoying this dinner, guys. My beef's out. Everything's out. 
So we will see you tomorrow with another recipe. Who knows what it's going to be. Bye for now.